Welcome to another episode of This Sounds Like It Should Be a Fever Dream. And it certainly, it should be a fever dream, but it is in fact my life. Everyone, I have something to say. Because what is the internet for if not sharing terrible nipple related mistakes? My window is open. God damn it, there's gonna be so much background noise. <laughs> Emergency room visits, unexplained supernatural occurrences, my nipples. This story has it all. The year was 2017. I was 18 years old. Fun, fresh, flirty, nothing like the grizzled hag of 20 you see before you today. The protagonists of this harrowing tale are myself and my friend Lizzie, who at the time was my girlfriend. Disgusting, I know. So we were talking one night in my dorm room about, like, what piercing that I was gonna get next, because I was kind of, I had started getting into piercings, I had just moved out of my parents' house, and I was living it up. And I don't remember exactly how the conversation went or how it came up, but I probably joked about getting my nipples pierced, and she was for it, and I was like, huh, yeah, like, that, that is actually a thing I can do. Like, I guess, like, I think they look nice. All these people on the internet are telling me it doesn't even hurt. So it also appealed to me just because I thought it was funny, it, it just seemed like a good joke, just a good meme to me, because, like, I'm not... You wouldn't expect me to be the type of person to get my nipples pierced. I don't know. I mean, maybe if you're new to my channel and just, like, judging me by appearance, you wouldn't think that. But if knowing the gigantic nerd that I am in real life, I am not the type of person who you would expect to, to, to have a piercing like that. So, you know, on top of, like genuinely thinking they looked nice. It was also just absolutely hysterical in my brain for some reason. So I, this became the plan to, to get my nipples pierced. I honestly wasn't worried about it at all because a whole bunch of people online had just said, yeah, like it, it doesn't actually hurt. Even though you would think like when I tell people that I had my nipples pierced, they cringe so hard because it sounds like it would be super painful. That's, that's the common sense. Even in real life, like, having your nipples pierced is a thing that is very easy to bond with other people over. I learned over the year that I had them. Even in real life, lots of people will tell you that they barely felt it. Those people are psychopaths. There is two exactly opposite camps on of, of the nipple piercing pain debate. There doesn't seem to be any in between. You either barely felt it or you wanted to die. There is no in-between, it's just, you, you're gonna get one of those two. Just have fun figuring out which one it's gonna be if you plan on getting your nipples pierced. It was a Friday when we had this conversation, which was very important, because the piercing place I go to is called Reactive Inc. It's in Kensington Market, if you know the Toronto area. They have a $20 piercing special every Saturday, which is a hella good deal. It was even better at the time of the story, I believe, but they upped the price because they can, because they own us, because where are we gonna find safe professional piercings for that cheap anywhere else? But it's only on Saturdays. So, it's Friday night and I'm like, I gotta get my nipples pierced tomorrow. Another important detail, Lizzie also worked like two minutes down the street from the piercing place. So we're like, okay, we're gonna get up, we're gonna walk there, we're gonna start my day with some needles to the nipples, it's all gonna go fine, perfect, smoothly, what could possibly go wrong, everything's fine. Then, drop you off at work, and then I gotta go home tonight for my dad's birthday dinner just to make this thing even more convoluted. But I, I, that was the plan, and it was an infallible one, if, you, if I do say so myself. So we roll up to the piercing place at 10 a.m. Nobody else is there because that's not a thing that people do at 10 a.m. And I'm like, yep, I'm ready. The, the nipples are ready for this experience. So we go into the back room. Uh, you don't have to like get naked or anything. You kind of just like flash the piercer. So now, now I have to tell you a very important detail that is going to sound very weird and unrelated. Lizzie had told me prior to this, um, just about how she was very good at picking up on other people's emotions, how she was an empath, all of this stuff. Her mom was super convinced of it as well. Um, and had told me just, it just, it had been brought up. It was a thing. Um, that they had both mentioned to me a couple times in the past. I didn't think much of it. I thought, a-okay, my guys, if you say so. Back to the nipple piercing situation. I'm trying to explain this, but there's, there's really, I just gotta tell, okay. So we're back, nipple piercing is happening. 
I very quickly realized that I have made a grave mistake. The internet has misled me. It was quite painful. Just a lot. To the point that I was blacking out. I knew I was gonna faint. Like, everything was blurry. The darkness was closing in. It was very ex- it wasn't. It was- I was just blacking out because I was- my nipple piercings hurted a lot. I was sitting. Lizzie was standing beside me. And so I reach out and like grab her arm to, to steady myself. And she immediately face plants into the ground. She was completely fine one second and then the next second, as soon as I touched her, she fainted. Man, I don't know. It's been literal years and I cannot tell you what the fuck. Honestly, bless all of the people who worked there just, just having to deal with these unconscious dumbasses at 10 a.m. I still, I wonder how that looked. Just, I mean, it's not uncommon for, I guess, the person getting pierced or tattooed to get a little squeamish. And I was sitting down. I think someone caught me when I started to lean to the side at one point. But nobody was prepared for her to faint like that. Like, it was quite a lot. So I'm regaining consciousness. She's on the floor, also regaining consciousness. And I have my nipples pierced. My nipples... My nipples were pierced. They gave me some tissue to shove in my bra in case it bled. And... There, there, there they were. Post piercing, it, it didn't hurt that much, but I also wasn't really in a position to complain because I wasn't the one who had face planted into a tile floor. Lizzie was getting up and she asked me if her nose looked fine. And normally, like she had a really slight bump on her nose, but when I looked at it, it was, it was like straight or even like a little bit sloped almost. And I was like, oh shit, that's not, Good, is it? So we realize that her nose is very likely broken. There's a hospital pretty close, so we decide to just walk there. Um, power couple strolling down the street, her with her broken face, me with my bloody nipples. We spent many hours in the ER just to find out that while her nose was in fact broken, they had to wait for the swelling to go down to actually reset it. Nothing could even be done about this problem today. She missed work that day, obviously. I still had to be home that night. All of this because of my nipples. We told her mom the entire true story because I guess I don't care if other people's moms know that I had my nipples pierced, but I did definitely did not want my parents knowing. So the story we told them was essentially the same minus the, the nipple piercing situation. So I had just blacked out for no reason. We included the part where she'd fainted in solidarity because I guess she was the one with the broken nose. We could have just said that she fainted mysteriously because then they were on my case about like, are you okay? Why are you fainting? I did eventually tell my parents about my nipple piercings. Um, after, on, on the day that I, on the day that I had to take them out actually, which was because I had a spontaneous, this was last summer, I had a spontaneous pneumothorax last summer, the first of four. Yay, fun! So when I had my first pneumothorax, I had to have copious chest x-rays and having metal on my chest was a no-no. So I took them out and I remember I was like sitting in my hospital bed with my chest tube in that night and I was just like, hey mom, hey, mo hey, hey mom, wanna know something funny? So that was when I finally came clean about um, the truth about my nipples. That would make a great video title. The truth about my nipples. What's wrong with her nipples? Does she have nipples? Does she have three nipples? How many, how many nipples does she have? I have no plan to ever get my nipples pierced again. One, because that shit hurty, and two, because, um, I wasn't, I honestly wasn't really that conflicted about taking them out when I did, because I'd already kind of started to feel like I was growing out of them, and I was like, they, they've had their time, they've, they've had a good year. As for Lizzie's nose, it is still a little fucked up to this day. Do you ever just permanently maim the people you're dating so that your nipples can haunt them forever? Like, am I right, ladies? Not that I personally had a hand in breaking her nose, it was just indirectly the fault of my nipple piercings. That is the harrowing tale of the life and death of my nipple piercings. I was almost about to say my nipples. No, I promise you I still have nipples. Um, they're just not pierced. Thank you as always for watching friends and I will see you in another video next week.